Perth's rocket man Roscoe McGlashan is tonight a step closer to an attempt on the world land speed record. He's about to install a key component of his car, a world first so sophisticated NASA has shown interest. Chris Young reports. For Roscoe McGlashan, the dream lives on and the passion still burns. The bottom line is I quit school at 12 and set this land speed record. I've been on the job ever since. I was there on that day in March 1994 when he set the Australian land speed record of 802 kilometres an hour in South Australia. Now he wants to go much faster. He wants the world record, which is just over 1,200 kilometres an hour. And this is the car he plans to do it in. Three, two, one. Aussie Invader 5R has been built to smash through the sound barrier to a speed of 1,600 kilometres an hour. At that speed, you'd get to Bunbury in about seven minutes. This car's got 200,000 horsepower or 62,000 pound of thrust. So it makes more power than two Hornet aircraft put together. The acceleration, frightening. Nought to 1,600 in just over 20 seconds. And this is the last key component to go into the car. It's called the orbital propellant module, which in basic terms delivers the propellant to the engine. It's a world first, developed by the Aussie Invader team. So good that NASA is reported to be interested. This has implica implications of being able to be used in space as a refueling satellite um, module. There are plans to test the car before the end of the year and launch the attempt in the next 12 months. A number of mudflat locations are being looked at, with the preference being in WA's Kimberley region near El Questro Station. The race to be the world's fastest has proved both expensive and tragic. The British campaign Bloodhound has run out of money after spending more than $100 million. And the American challenge ended when Jesse Combs died trying to break a record in 2019. Roscoe describes that as extremely sad, but it doesn't change his focus. The bottom line is we've got to see this project through, so we've started it and we're going to finish it. Chris Young, 7 News.